I did a poll about what should this week's video be and more people voted for Deutsch Connector Kit, so that's what I wanted to make the video about anyway, so it worked out perfectly. So this is a Deutsch Connector Kit. These are Deutsch Connectors. I'm sure you've seen them before um, on pretty much anything. So first of all, let's start. What is a Deutsch Connector? So I got this definition off of um, Google. They are a type of weather proof electrical connector that uses round pins and sockets. They are found on all types of vehicles, automotive, heavy trucks, um, and heavy equipment, lots of equipment. So I know Cat uses them, Deer uses them, Case uses them, pretty much everybody uses them. So there's a couple different styles. Some of them are gray with orange connectors and some of them are black with green connectors. So these are different uh, number, these are different counts, but different size connectors, but they are interchangeable. I had somebody tell me once that the black ones are different than the gray ones, but there was an old cat article that I have not been able to find that explained that the black and green is like an updated version. It's a little tighter tolerances, but that if you come across these older ones, they are interchangeable and there's no issues basically with the difference. So my test harness here is basically, I didn't even notice that till now. One of them is black and green and this one is gray. But then if you look, it has a green lock in there. So it, it doesn't really matter. There are technically interchangeable. There's no difference. They're just, it's like an updated design. But let me get to my kit here. My kit here, this kit I have built, it's modeled off of the cat kit. So I even put the cat part number on it here. Um, the cat DT kit and then the cat amp seal kit. DT is this style of a connector, the plastic with the rubber in the back and everything. Um, Deutsch makes a whole bunch of different stuff. They make like HD, which is like the metal ones. And then there's like HT and there's a whole catalog of Deutsch connectors, but these are, these are DT and this is what you'll run into mostly on equipment. And let me get here and show you this kit. So this kit is modeled after the cat kit, but the cat kit has in these slots here, it has the, like the separate locks are separate. And then it has separate, um, the little rubber gaskets. So it has them like all in, in little, they almost look like little pill bottles, but they're clear in here. But my thinking is if, if the seals messed up or the locks messed up, I'm just going to replace the whole connector. I'm not gonna just replace the seal. And plus the cat kit, even with the cat kit, even without the pliers is still like six or $700. So there's two different part numbers for the cat kit. Um, I have linked them. One includes the official Deutsch connector pliers, and that one's like twelve or thirteen hundred. And then the kit that is just basically this without the pliers is like seven or eight. It's too, super really expensive. So I've done a video about things to get from cat dealers before, but here's the part number for the box: um, one fifty two seven nine nine seven. These boxes are only like like forty bucks. They're not very expensive, and it models after the cat kit and you can even buy the sticker for the back of this there's a cat part number for the sticker i don't have it right offhand but what i did is i just basically put all of the part numbers on there i just drew a grid and put the part numbers so if you look real quick here so the one like some of them are cat part numbers like 102 88 08 05 is a six pin receptacle that's the cat part number and then these are the deer part numbers. So one thing, like, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. So here's the six pin. So the cat comes with a little kit. I didn't know this, and I found this out the hard way. So the cat part number, this is the 102-8805. It's a little kit. So it has the, the connector and the lock. As where, if you get the deer part number, the 57M, it's just the connector. And then you have to get the lock separate. I don't know if I have the locks in here or not. Yeah, I do. So then the lock is a completely separate part number. So if you are getting the deer ones, they are identical, except deer will have two part numbers, one for the lock, one for the plastic piece or the housing, I guess. And then cat, it comes in a little bag and it's like a little kit. So that's just something to know because I didn't know that. <laughs> and I started at deer and bought a whole bunch of, got a whole bunch of, connectors for a job and they were like I only got the connectors and I asked the parts guy like hey where are the locks at and he's like well you didn't order the locks I didn't know they're different part numbers 
So the way I have this kit set up, it's two pin, three pin, four pin, six pin, eight pin, and then 12 pins are down here. And I keep all of the, like the, the pins and the sockets and then the little white block. Um, these are block plugs. So if you have a six pin connector and you're only using four pins, you can put one of these in there and it'll, you can put one of these in there and then it will like, so there's not a hole. But then I added the amp seal stuff, which amp seal is, it uses the exact same pins and sockets. It's just the locks are slightly different. So this is a six pin. So the lock is like external. And my understanding with amp seal was the equipment manufacturers needed a, a more secure, um, they needed a more secure connector with more variety. So you notice some of these are red, some of these are gray, some of these are, are um, here's a yellow one. So they have, I think they have eight different lock colors. So that way if you have like a whole bunch of two pins in a row, you can have all different colors. That way you can't plug them into each other. They're different keys. So like, let me see if I can find here. These two are both um, six pins. So they're different keys. So if you look at the, the notches, see how the notches are in a different spot? See how the notches are in a different spot here? So they're different keys, so they won't plug into each other. And they won't, they needed that for like after treatment and stuff. And then here is, so here's a male and a female. So this one looks like it's a little bit used. And amp seals also have this little red tab. That way they can't like get dirt or something and then come apart. So there's this little lock tab that let me take that off. So this little lock tab keeps that, keeps that in there like that. So that's the only difference between amp seal and Deutsch connector. So here, let me, here's a two pin. I don't think I have, oh, I'm actually out of two pin. Let me see if I got anything that'll work here. Oh, you know what? I can use this one. So this is my test harness again. So this is a two pin um, DT style and this is a two pin amp seal. So you can see they're kind of different. They're a lot different. They won't interchange, but you can take the, just take the housing off of this one and then you could put it in, into this one and then you can have an amp seal. So now let's get into how you take these apart. So let me take this apart and I'll show you how to make one. So there's this neat little tool. This is a cat version. Um, these weren't very expensive. I think it was like 10 or 15 bucks, but then I had a, Everybody has pocket screwdrivers, right? So I took a pocket screwdriver and I just ground the end of it to be very similar. And I'll show you how, I'm just gonna use the cat tool cause I like it the best. But the way you take these apart is the little, this is the lock on the Deutschkin. So if you look, there's a little spot. Let me see if I can see it. Here it is. So there's a little spot right here. See how you see that? Can you see that little notch right there? And then this guy goes in there well, if I can, hold on, it's hard to do through the camera. But this little guy goes in there underneath it. And then you can just pop that. The lock comes out. There's two little tabs down here that retain these, the sockets. So the round ones, are, these ones are the sockets, the female ones, and then the other ones are the pins. So there's two different ways to do this. This is the remover. These are the plastic ones. They have metal ones. Um, I just like the plastic ones. These are not very expensive. And then there's two ways to do this. So on this style, you there's, on this style, there's two ways to do it. You should be able to see those. There's two little lock tabs down there and they retain the pins. So you just stick it in the backside like that. You make sure that the cutout part is away from the little lock. And then if you push it in, you'll feel it like click and then you can just pull it. Oh, it didn't do it yet. Uh, yeah, it did. So then you can just pull it out and then it comes out And this little, what you're doing is you're basically pushing this guy in to there and then it, it lifts up that lock tab inside there and then it pulls it out. Connect it. You just push it in and you'll hear it click. It clicks and then I always give it a good tug and it's good. So that is, and then you put the little lock in there. So that's how that works. And then the other female side which has the pins in it so that's what that little hook is for on these you got to go down in there and then you can hook that lock tab and then it, it, you pull that lock tab out and that's what this little tool is for and then the other way to do it to the other way is you can get 
this little tool and you could go down in there. This is the way I usually do it. And you could just flick that little lock and then just pull the wire. That's the easiest way that I found to do it. I don't really like using these little tools, but like some of the, like the ECM connectors and stuff, you have to use the tools because you can't open it like that. A couple different style Deutsch connector pliers. So I want to talk about this really quick. So these ones, um, these have the John Deere part number right on them. These are um, these were purchased from John Deere. These are very expensive, so these pliers are not mine. Um, my boss let me borrow these so I can make this video. So there is a cat version. part. They're identical, but there's a cat part number. Here's the John Deere part number, and then I did find them on Amazon. The um, These are the official Deutsch Connector pliers, but these are very, very expensive. These are like four to five hundred a piece. And if you can see that, see how there's those, there's four little tangs coming in. That's how it crimps. So these big ones, you adjust. So that's what this little knob here is for, is you take this little pin out, so, or this little key, and then you you can turn it. And that's how you adjust the wire gauge, and you adjust how far they crimp here. But I don't like using these because you notice how big they are. Sometimes you can't get these into places just because they're so big. So the ones that I use, these ones are mine. These are the Tool Aid versions. And the, the difference is these, they only do certain ones. So like these, this tool aid does 14, 16, and 18 gauge. And then this is the smaller one. This is for 20 to 22 gauge. There is one bigger set of these tool aid ones, which I don't have here because I've actually never needed them for the bigger connectors. The tool aid ones will not do the big Deutsch connector. They have like single pin plugs for like, usually they're like battery connectors. And these ones are the only ones that'll do it. I haven't found a set of aftermarket ones that will do those large connectors. So if you're doing the large number one connectors, you need the actual Deutsch connector pliers. So these ones are approved for Deutsch connectors um, because if you look at it, see how it's got the same little four little things that come in there and do it. There is a cheaper version of these. Um, I don't remember what the brand is, but... They look very, very similar to this, but they, the, the tool aid ones have the little snap rings um, and the other ones have like little screws in them. And I think these faces are chrome. Those ones are not approved because they don't have the four little connectors that come in like that. Last time I checked, these ones were around, I think they were like 40 bucks a piece. So even if you have to buy all three sets, that's still less than half the price of the actual Deutsch connector ones. And then there is a kit that I, I linked from Amazon that's all of the all it's all three of the tool aid ones and it's um the remover uh the remover tools. It's like a in a little nice blow mold case. I was gonna get one, but I didn't really do it. I just got these instead. So these ones are pretty good. It's wire stripped, and if you look on this little Deutsch pin, see there's a hole right there. This is gonna focus. Yeah, see there's a hole right there. So when you put the wire in, you should see the wire in the hole. See how you see the wire in the hole? So that means you have enough of it in. So I just cut the wire till it's, it, I basically stripped this much of the wire so it sticks in there. And then you can put the connector in. You can put the connector in if you want, but I always put it on the wire. So then now you just crimp. And the, the nice thing about even the tool aid ones to see they lock until you're done all the way. So it won't spring back open until it crimps all the way. So now it springs back open. So that's crimped. And if you look at it, see how it's got the four little marks on it. So that's the style you want. There is another style plier that they sell that it's like open barrel style and it just basically smashes this. So you don't want that style, but these are also called known as closed barrel. See, it says closed barrel terminals, contactor 16. So you want a closed barrel style. That's what those are called. So then let's put this back together. And so sometimes these little lot of seals come out. So you just got to put them back in. So then you just line it up, push it in. You'll hear it click. It clicks. And then the best way is you can balance. You can balance it like that and then you can I'm probably not gonna be able to do this one-handed or on a camera but then you can just go like that and then it should be now see I missed it there we go no I didn't wait maybe I did it got tangled 
I gotta get it under. There you go. And you just snap it in, and there you go. So that is Deutsch connector style connectors. I use these pretty much for everything. If I have to do any kind of a wiring repair, I use a Deutsch connector. I don't use it pretty much. I don't use anything else. I don't you really use weather pack. Sometimes I do just because John Deere uses a lot of weather pack. And I, I'll keep, like, if I want to keep the harness the same, I'll use the weather pack. So this is the way I have it set up. I just keep the tools right here in it with me. And I just have it set up two pin, four pin, all the way to 12 pin. Um, the 12 pins are nice. And then two, also, the nice thing about, that I like a lot about Deutsch connectors is they're numbered on the back. So if you can see that, see how it's one to six and then six to 12. So that way you know, like, if you have... Here's another 12 pin. So you can put, if you're doing like a, a wire harness, you can look at the back and it says, okay, this is number 12. So then I know that the wire here, number 12 works out. This is my Deutsch connector kit and how to do a Deutsch connector. Hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Remember the giveaway is still going on. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, go check out the ratchet video. And there's last time I checked, there was 47 entries. If I get to 100 entries, I think I'm going to give something else away. Not exactly sure what that is yet, but like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.